which expands 4 billion naira to renovate official residence instead of 150 million naira. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we we'll post hot juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. Squandermania seem to have gripped the, spend the Federal Capital Territory Administration since former River State Governor Nyeso Miki took office as minister. No be smoke Squandermania. And tomorrow night they talk, this man will, will come outside. They shall say, na people will hit him. There is in detail, please. A preparation document seen by the Whistler show that the renovation of the minister's official residence at Life Camp initially planned to be executed with 150 million naira through restricted tendering was awarded by Mickey to Julius Beggar at a cost of 3 million 762 okay 3 billion 762 million 500,000 three months ago after the exit of the former minister of FCT Mohammed Bello in May the Whistler learned that those in charge of innovating the residence gave a cost of 150 million which was initially included in the sub Supplementary budget proposal. Sources in the office of the minister revealed that the figure was removed and awarded to Julius Beggar on the destruction of Wiki at the new cost. Wiki was said to have given out the contract to Julius Beggar, hiding under the emergency procurement clause contained in the Procurement Act and directed payment of 2 billion mobilization fee. The minister alleged the rational decision did not go down well with many top civil servants, top civil servants, who felt it was a waste of funds and violation of procurement law, which specified contracts that fall under emergency procurement. According to Section 431 of the Procurement Act, the emergency procurement can only be carried out when the country is threatened or confronted with a war or a natural disaster. Some of the civil servants who spoke to the Whistler on condition of anonymity said there was no emergency in the renovation of the minister's of the minister's residence since there was no damage to the property. Emergency procurement gives room for the fraud because the contractor will just do the work and still submit his bill to you. It is whatever he says he spends that he will pay, said a civil engineer in the FCDA. Another engineer who expressed suspicion that funds may be siphoned through such contract awards said if the contract was done through selective bidding, it would be far cheaper and would have been completed within three months. Renovation works on the residence of the minister, according to civil engineers, involve painting, piping works, electrical and furnishings. The renovation was part of budget items in the FCT 2023 Supplementary Appropriation Bill sent to the National Assembly, a copy of which is in the possession of the Whistler. But when the National Assembly passed the bill, the renovation of the minister's residence was removed while the cost was lumped together with others under the renovation and completion of critical infrastructure in the FCT with the total cost put at 13,762,500,000. A legislative aide told the Whistler that the lawmakers could have done that to protect the minister due to the alleged unjustifiable renovation contract sum. Coalition of over 10,000 indigents of the Federal Capital Territory and civil society groups on Wednesday call for the resignation of Winky as minister of FCT, accusing him, of, accusing him among others of land grabbing and misguided actions. So if you check them now, this thing where they talk. We can they, they do I don't understand. The spirit of spending they inside our politicians. So they they no send us message. Because I don't understand. I don't understand what is going on. The worst government so far, with this race they are going, everything will collapse. I they tell you. All right, another episode of Town Hall different from Bala Bloom, Bulaba. We have not seen anything. He's an emperor, not minister, but Abuja is not reverse. Stop all this write-up. What do you expect? 
vote the right people, you refuse. So do what you want. All right. Okay, stop all this right talk. What do you expect? Vote the right people you refuse. So what do you want? What do you mean by vote the right people? All right. Rika has always shown himself at this condomain right from the time he became governor of River State. There were many recorded incidents of this habit in him. For example, there was a time he spent the state fund to watch football matches abroad. He is an unrepented vagabond and waste of resources. To be put in reposition, he is to make a point and convince his critics as regards the legions. All right. For example, there was a time he spent the state fund to watch football matches abroad. I think I've said this before. It's a lie. Tunable put him there to compensate him for rigging the election for him in River State. Incredible. And that is why he wants to also run the people mad. All right. Please, don't, please Mickey, do not mind those nothing him. Hegemonic element. Mohammed Bello is the highest looter of FCT. He even banned drinking of alcoholism and ordered all gardens to close at seven, thereby allowing Al Majiris to be terrorizing the people of Abuja. Bello that looks like a HIV person. Wow. Is the renovation going on or not? Sometimes it baffles me how we react to issues in this country. The Honorable Minister was appointed to serve the country and serve the interests of a generality of Nigerians. Are not the interest of a few ethnic and religious by goods. We had the huge amounts of money carted away under the president form. Under the president and the former accountant general of the federation, nobody seems to be talking about Mr. Mifili. is now the sacrificial lamb. Nigeria indeed is a funny country. Let the whole minister stick 12 billion each for their house renovation. I beg, it is their turn. Let the whole minister. Okay, I've said it. I've said that before. You have not said anything yet. Wiki is wickedly wicked. If you believe this story, then you believe any story that includes your mother and sisters are hook up girls. Some of these people just create a popular story to make traffic to their account. Please follow the story. It does make sense. All right. This is Nigeria. We don't even know what to believe. Exactly. We saw how they grabbed the power. They are wasting our money anyhow. No agenda. Don't support evil politicians that are not your brother, sister, or friend. All right. On this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say th thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.